What's up, good brothers and good sisters? Uh, it's your boy here. After a uh, long trip from Chicago, I made it back and I thought I'd do a quick little vlog ski update on what's going on in a couple of unboxings. Uh, it's been a little time since I've done some unboxings and I got a couple to catch up on. This is just three, actually I have a lot more, but uh, I don't want this to go a really long time, so I thought I'd just throw these three here, but I'll show you some of the stuff I got in Chicago and a little bit before that. Uh, Chicago Survivor Series weekend. I'm gonna be doing a vlog on that soon. Absolutely amazing. Uh, Got to meet. Uh, let's see where are those pictures at. There we go. Got to meet the Undertaker. Mill Masqueras. No job. We asked him about the uh, time he was in Memphis. Of course he was there, right? Yeah, of course he was there. Uh, and last but not least, got to meet Abby Abdullah the Busher. Great guy, didn't talk very much, but really nice guy. Went to Pro Wrestling Tees. We went on Black Friday, which was really nice because Black Friday everything was on sale. Unfortunately, they weren't doing any on-demand printing, so anything that was in the store, you gotta buy for their, uh, their discount. But uh, still pretty fun. Got a box, got three shirts in here. It's empty right now. I'm using to store my wrestling tickets in. I need to kind of separate all of my different uh, things that I pick up uh, into separate boxes. Right now I've got one box that is all my wrestling tickets along with random hotel room keys and anything else that I pick up on the trip. So I'm gonna separate just the tickets into its own box. Picked up the LWO shirt. Picked up a Bandito Micro Brawler. But before I went to Chicago, I actually, that Sunday night, before Chicago, went to a Lucha show, uh, which you'll be able to see the match coming up soon. I got to see Negro Navarro uh, wrestle uh, one of the Phantasmas uh, and a decent match. It was Maestro versus Maestro. Um, afterwards, he was selling some cool stuff. I'm gonna do a little unboxing on this too. Uh, it's a uh, a Lego figurine of uh, we're gonna say this is LA Park, could be La Parca, but uh, as you can see behind me, um, my collection is still in disarray. I need to put many many things together. I started to set up my DVDs over here. I don't have room. I need to get another DVD case. Got the BCAs over here, which will be unboxing day. I'm still trying to collect uh, series one through five. Did anybody else do this? When you were a kid, you would get good grades on your uh, your report card, and then you'd get to go to Blockbuster and pick up. It's a Royal Rumble going on upstairs. That's what happens when you have six kids inside of a house. You have a Royal Rumble going on upstairs. Uh, but I digress. You'd go to Blockbuster and show them, oh look, I got these A's, and they would let you go ahead and pick out a movie. What was your favorite movie? Okay, so, some people actually picked out movies. I picked out wrestling tapes. Uh, what was your favorite wrestling tape that you pick out from your local Blockbuster, thousands of videos, so on and so forth? I'm curious. Uh, one of my greatest memories from when I was, when I was probably six, seven years old, uh, my parents took me to thousands of videos, which was a small, video store chain right down the street from us. And they said, okay, go ahead and pick out a wrestling tape and we'll take it home and you can watch it while we make dinner that night. I'll never forget we're making, well, I wasn't making, I couldn't cook. I still barely can. Uh, we're making some other burritos that night and my mom made some guacamole. She sat me down, guacamole, you got the chips. And I sat there and I watched WrestleMania 3 and I'll never forget it. Grabbing that clamshell, take it over the front. They sit there and look through their tapes. They give you that, you know, uh, little clamshell, no pictures on it. You just got the VHS. Be kind, please rewind. But what say you? What was your favorite one to get? Was it one of the super tapes? Was it World Tour? Uh, was it uh, Colossal Classic? Crunch Classic, sorry, Crunch Classic. What was your favorite? I specifically remember going to Blockbuster with my report card, like I said, as a little kid. Uh, I was nine years old. I would always get A's because that's what I did back then. Uh, and getting WrestleMania 4, because you got the two tapes, and they would do it as, as one. So you get the two tapes for the one deal, and I watched WrestleMania 4 that entire night. Um, I feel like I enjoyed it a lot more then than I do now. Um, but you know, I got to see, what, 18 matches that night. Oh, it was amazing. So first, I'm going to open up this L.A. Park uh, Lego figure. I love Lucha Libre. I've been getting so much into Lucha Libre in the last couple months. I can't wait to go to Expo Lucha next year. Um, there's just something about... Lucha Libre, the moves, the transitions, everything else. It's just amazing to watch. Uh, CMLL and AAA have just some amazing matches that go way under the radar. 
just because of kind of the repetition of a lot of what goes on. Like, it seems like CMLL, um, if you don't understand Spanish, you can't really understand the storylines. Um, and realistically, I don't think they really have any storylines. You know, they do their Tuesday and Friday shows and everything. They do that for the, the tourists that come. There's not a lot of rhyme or reason to what they do, but, uh, most of the time the matches turn out great. Sometimes the matches turn out great. Uh, the, their flyers match is amazing in CMLL. Triple A is uh, trying to expand more, and they're just putting on some great matches. Um, anyways, let's not worry about that. Let's just say Lucha Libre is great. So, LA Park, La Parca, um, comes with a, uh, a little weight, uh, which is pretty cool. And yeah, the actual figure itself. And now keep in mind, as I said, I got this from Negro Navarro. He had a little merch table out there just with tons of stuff. I picked up a shirt from him. And I picked one of these up to make it an even 20. I'm selling these for $5 each. Um, so if you take a look at this, it's weird because it's almost like a Darth Vader top, but I mean, I, mean, I get it. Uh, arms move, legs move, uh, head doesn't move. It's got a little cape, um, nothing on the back. Uh, but if you can see that, it's actually sparkly for the top. Um, cool little Lego figure. You could go ahead and have the weights um there are some other ones i i really like the parka la park um his son actually uh Ijo del la park um great guy he's been coming to denver the last couple months for the iwc legacy shows and the guy is just killing it the one thing about uh Ijo del la park is he can get the heat he can get the crowd going he i mean the way that he controls is just absolutely amazing. So if you haven't checked out any of his matches recently, um, go out and do that. And like I said, uh, check out his matches that, on my videos too, because, you know, I like the hit count. Uh, but anyways, it's a cool figure. I really enjoy it. Cool. Yeah, no, it stands. It looks great. It's a great figure. Um, I'm going to try to actually go to Mexico here in the next couple years and, you know, be able to pick up a bunch of merch and stuff like this. Uh, Japan, of course, again this year won out. I can't wait to do the two-day Wrestle Kingdom shows, get to see Liger retire, all that. But Japan is on my radar, or Japan, I'm going to. Mexico is on my radar, and uh, Germany is too. So looking forward to that. Okay, LA Park's done. Uh, got Bandito. I'm not going to open that. I mean, they're micro ballers. They look cool. Um, I'm going to open it. I'm just going to open it here because you know they're micro ballers uh but for wrestling tees putting these things out they're absolutely amazing i really want to pick up more um man they're going for, they're so expensive have you seen the taz one lately like the price on that ugh. um but i really want it a couple of pickups from ebay uh went ahead and left them here this one is mint on card this one is mint the guy said he only displayed it uh but it's displayed so it's loose and the last thing right here i got the uh Brett No and two back them going to go ahead and open up pretty excited for this one. I never had this Brett um, I I had this Owen. I got a trade for a friend, you know middle school uh, But never had this Brett so I can't wait to open that and be able to get that into my collection. So first and foremost let's go ahead and start off with uh, the uh, Let's see Fragile Thank you get this one opened up check out see who it is and Get this one added in my collection you know, for a loose figure, this thing is actually wrapped pretty well. I'm, tr I'm trying to go by that rider rule of only picking up the mint on card and open them. So you got like a really, you know, mint loose collection. But sometimes I just don't do it. And this is one of the times like trust, you know, the seller seemed pretty trustworthy in terms of saying it was only displayed, so on and so forth. So went ahead and took their word for it and picked up. Bader even came to the cut the little thing out. They got the front on here Like I said, you got that front from that BCA Superstar Series 2. Go and set that down display it in the front um, I'm not gonna do it, but you could Jack so you know what it's from. I got all these mock. I love them. Everybody says they're not gonna be worth nothing Go ahead, you know open them all up so on and so forth can't do that I, I love the way that they look in the box. I got nowhere to display them right now I want to get some of those ringside collectibles defender cases Drop them in there. And you know, this thing, it, it feels pretty good. Yeah, it's a little loose joint, but I mean, that happens on these things. Uh, the arm's a little messed up. Uh, I don't know if that's that big of a deal to me, but the paint on it just, I mean, yeah, this thing was never played with. 
this this is a mint loose figure i can't wait to put this back in the collection over there it's a great figure i i i used to love this figure when i was younger this is series two i think in the later ones they actually use a brighter red for this like the dta tour series two or maybe something like was he in a two pack with like mark henry or something i want to say it's lighter but this is, this is a very dark red um let's make sure it stands you got to have the stand test Arms, arms a little messed up, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that that's just the way it came. Um, not mess with it too much. Come on, Vader, stand up for me, brother. Ah, Vader time. Great figure, I enjoy it. Can't wait to add this to my collection. I've got, I've had so many Vaders over the years, and I think I even have a different Vader in the collection over there. That's gonna get replaced with this one. I'm pretty excited about. Series two, it doesn't have the hole at the bottom, so you can't put it on a display stand. Uh, Series 4 did have the hole. That's a real tell the difference between the two. If you're going to collect all 1 through 5 like I am. I'm actually even thinking about moving on 6. I randomly picked up the Mach 6 in a lot. I think i got to collect the loose ones now too. But Vader, great figure. Okay, now let's keep it going, right? Go ahead and take care of that later. Moving on to the next one we got here. Uh, came all the way from Kansas. Picked this up actually right when I was getting ready to leave for Chicago. I packed it. That's the thing. This is just like flimsy ready post. I'm open anyway. It's not a big deal. But I mean, come on, guys. If you're sending a mock figure, don't do it in one of these little bubbly mailers. What's wrong with you? We got Stone Cold Steve Austin. Actually, it showed up in pretty good condition. I'm going to have to actually grab my other one and see if this box is better than mine. It's one thing I always make sure to do is if I end up picking up a different Minon card one, I look back at the Minon card one I currently have and see which one's better and see if we're going to open it. So let me grab that one real quick. Here's the one that was sent to me. Top looks great, everything like that. You got the edging on the bottom, which, you know, happens with a lot of these. Here's the one that I currently own. It's a uh, same figure. It's got uh, the KB toys up at the top. Um, and actually it's peeled a little bit on the back. So this one actually might be in a slightly, no, but there's a bend on each side. Whew, this is gonna be a tough one. Seriously, a tough one. You know, I'm gonna keep mine. Go ahead and keep this one. So many decisions. I'm gonna keep mine. Let's go ahead and pop this bad boy up. We'll, uh, oh, bad boy, yeah, because the bad boys. Let's go ahead and open this one up and uh, see what Series 4 Stone Cold Steve Austin looks like out of the package. And let's smell 1997 a little bit again, right? Ah. I don't know about you guys, but one of the things that I loved about uh, these is you'd have that little the display stand part. You pull that out first. You set them down. You get ready to display it down. Pop the bad boy open. Grab Stone Cold Steve Austin. Pop this bad boy out. Oh, 19. This takes me back to being a kid smelling that figure coming right out fresh out of the box. Ooh, legs feel all right. There is a little divot on the arm back here. It's disappointing. This figure though, while the arms weren't the greatest, you could still hit a good uh, Stone Cold Stunner on it. These arms are actually pretty tight. Oh, well, one of them is. This one, eh. It was a good first attempt on an Austin, right? I, I still, you know, it's got the Stun and Steve boots right there, which I guess for a time he did have that. I remember there was that point he had like Stone Cold on the back of his trunk stuff too. Weird, I, I wanna say, you know, 97 should have been black boots, you know, black trunks, everything else, but still a great first time. You got those steely blue eyes right there. And again, you can go ahead and display it. This is what I'm really looking forward to. I, I mean, I had many of these figures. I've got tons of loose Austins, bone crunching actions all over. But this is mint on card. Well, it was mint on card, now it's loose. Looks great. I'm going to set this down. I'm going to display it. Stone Cold Steve Austin, everybody. And now last but not least, the Brett and Owen Heart vs. Heart Family Feud 2-pack. I guess the the second rarest 2-pack of those initial ones that came out. The first, obviously, being Razor and Diesel. So this is actually my original one. I got a second one, and I kind of did the, the just, you know, looking at them both. This one has a weird stain on the back. So while the, the front and everything looks decent, although it's got this little one right here, the stain just ruins it for me. So the other one I grabbed... From a flea market for like 25 bucks is gonna be the one that we're gonna go ahead and keep in the mock collection let's go ahead and whoo I, I i never had this it, this is gonna be opening this i i never even had the, the two packs until 
Manager Series 1. So this is going to be a first time unboxing for me. I'm super excited. I had the Vader. I had the Austin. Had a lot of the other ones. So opening this two pack is going to be awesome. I, I just can't wait. Ooh. 1996. Here we, we, we never got these, these initial two packs in any of the stores uh, in my area. So opening this up. Just, ooh. 1996. Here we go. Smells like 1996. I'm just open up a bone crunchy, crunchy action. Just take it in for a second and just think back to those times. This is the first completely pink Hitman that I've had. I, I've never held this. I've never seen it in person outside of the box until right now. Uh, oh, it just looks great. It's interesting. Brett actually, he's got some uh, like little spots on the glasses that I don't think any of the other figures actually had. This, it looks pretty good. Uh, one thing that I've, I've never really done until recently is actually look at the paint job to understand, you know, the different nuances of it. Uh, as you can see on this one, the back actually isn't painted the greatest because the top of the singlet where you get to the hair isn't fully painted, it looks like. I actually need to check my other breaths to see how they are. Maybe that was a thing. Um, I don't get too worked up over it unless like something was like very badly scuffed or something like that. So, so I love this. This bread is great. Um, do a little stand test. He stands. I love it. It's amazing. I'm just wowed. I, I love this figure. I never had it. You know, there was all the different variations of the Brett. You have the, the Raw's War 4 pack, and I think King of the Nine Rungs the same way too, you know, the other ones where he didn't have the glasses. So he had that different head sculpt that he got where they did glasses and no glasses. And they had the black pants with the pink top and black top with the pink pants. Let's get to Owen. I had all these Owen figures. The, the Owen figure, I love this this body. Owen and I think X-Pac body. Great doing her Karanas. Honestly, I thought that the the Owen figure was one of my best to play with. Owen would just do some amazing things. I like Sid too, because he could do the choke slam. Like, you know how when somebody can like just do their signature move, it just becomes your favorite one to play with? That's, that's the way this was. Owen, Owen always saw as a high flyer. So doing her Karanas and top rope stuff. He was just great for that. And again, Sid being able to do the choke slam, he was great for that as well. This figure is great. The the cast, this was the only one to come with the cast, which I really enjoyed. On the side, you have the the slammy winner. On the side, you got the great boots. Owen, I, I'm so disappointed that we haven't gotten any new figures of Owen. I know why. All the different incarnations of Owen Hart that could be created, that Mattel could just knock out of the park for we're not gonna get it's disappointing but being able to open these figures from 1996 and then you know just stare at them i i never had this one i got this one in a trade but uh even then it wasn't new so i didn't get to see the side pants and see how it looks again two old two packs of bottom there's no uh no no footholds for this blaze go ahead and you know, do a little bit of stand test they stand great <sighs> these figures i just get so close to completed this collection and and I can't wait and that was a long episode uh hopefully everybody enjoyed it I thought we opened up some great uh action figures I gotta do a little bit of talking in the beginning hopefully that wasn't too boring hopefully this talking at the end isn't too boring uh but the last thing that I want to go ahead and just throw on this vlog is next month less than a month away I'm going to Tokyo again and I can't wait. And the one thing I did last time, but I don't think I did enough of, was creating content to be able to make some vlogs. Um, I love doing vlogs. I hope you enjoy watching the vlogs. We're gonna have some fun in Tokyo. But the, the one big thing that I've been trying to do these past couple months, and I'm hoping you all can help me with, is I wanna hit 1,000 subscribers by December 31st at 11.59 p.m. With that being said, if we can hit that goal, and I know it really sounds like a pipe dream for me, but I wanna make it happen. I want to hit a thousand subscribers and if I hit a thousand subscribers by that deadline, I'm going to give away to one of these, one of the subscribers of the thousand that I hope to have something from Tudicon. So what's going to happen is it won't happen on New Year's Day. It'll happen a couple days after because they're not open on New Year's Day, but a couple days after New Year's, I'm going to walk through, I'm going to do a vlog for two, from Tudicon and during that vlog, I'm going to uh, pick something out that I really enjoyed that looks really cool inside Judicon and I'm gonna give it away to one of my thousand subscribers. So here's what I need you to do. I'm begging you, please help out, share this, you know, retweet the video uh, when I go ahead and put it up, share the video, post the video yourself, 
let's get me to a thousand subscribers and I want to give somebody something from Tutacon while I'm in Tokyo. Can we make that happen? I hope so. Anyways, this is me signing off for now. Look out for some of the other uh, videos I'm going to be putting up. I'm going to be putting up some great uh, Denver Lucha matches I've seen over the past couple weeks, couple years. I'm going to have a huge catalog of that. I'm going to put up some more vlogs. The Japan vlog is going to be coming out when I get there. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much. Retweet, share. Your word of mouth is my oxygen. Thanks so much. See you next time.